Hello everyone! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. And today, as I have got a lot of um, comments from you guys, and some of the comments, um, they are confused. So, I decided to recreate and make my video as clear as I can okay so to make this heart shape bubble stitch granny squares for you guys okay so without further ado let's get into our tutorial okay so I will be using my four millimeter hook and my eight ply acrylic yarn so you can choose whatever you prefer uh, but because it's it's a hard shape so I decided to use my red um, yarn okay so we're going to create our slip knot And we are going to chain 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So once you created your 30 chains, we are going to single crochet. Okay, so I would like to single crochet in the back loop only. So we're going to skip this one here and we're going to single crochet into the next one. So insert, pull up, and pull through and at the end of this is we are going to have 29 single crochet So once you finish your row, you're supposed to have 29 single crochet. Chain one and turn your work. We will be repeating a single crochet. For five rows. And this is the last stitch of your second row. So this is how it looks like. And every row, you need to chain one and start single crochet. And I will be completing my five rows of single crochet and I will come back and meet you back 
and we are going to start our heart shape. And this is your third row. Chain one and start your fourth row. Last stitch of <clears throat> your row four, and this is the row five. So once you have completed your row five, now to make it easy, we're going to count 14 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and into the next stitch. Okay, we place our stitch marker. We count from here one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so as we have twenty nine, we have fourteen and fourteen into the middle or the fifteen stitch is we place our marker. Now we're going to continue chain one. And we're going to place 14 single crochet until we get to our stitch marker. We have one more before we reach our stitch marker and now we should have 14 here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen <clears throat> now we're going to take our stitch marker out and into the stitch we're going to do a double crochet. So your Nova, insert, pull up a loop. You have three loops, your Nova pull through two and stop. Your Nova, insert, pull up a loop, your Nova pull through two and stop. Your Nova, insert, pull up a loop, your Nova pull through to stop. Your Nova, insert your will pull through to stop so we have one two three four five your nova insert pull up a loop your nova pull through two so now we have six okay so i have questions that in here they have a small uh bubble stitch or pop stitch Okay, so if you're struggling, okay, you need to add more. Okay, so if you want more of the bubble stitch, and then you have to add more of this. Okay, so at the moment, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then yarn over, and then we're going to pull through all the loops. Okay, so this is your puff stitch. So if you want more, and then you can add more. And what happens next is you go into the next stitch and 
single crochet and single crochet until to the end of the row. You're supposed to have 14 stitches here too. If we have a look at it, that is our first bubble stitch or popcorn stitch. Okay, so if you want bigger than this, okay, you need to add more. Okay, so this is our row six. Now row seven is 29 single crochet. Okay, so complete your 29 single crochet and we will work on row eight. Once we completed our 29 single crochet, now we are going to work on row eight, chain one, single crochet, 12 times or 12 single crochet so once you finish your row 7 we're going to work on row 8 which is I'm going to count 1, 2, 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I'm going to place my stitch marker into the next. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And from here, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we're going to place a stitch marker. These are the place that we are going to place our puff, puff stitch. Okay, so here we have one, two, three single crochet in the middle. Okay, so now let's continue. So chain one and turn, single crochet in the next 12 stitches or until we reach our stitch marker. Now, once we reach our stitch marker, we take our stitch marker off and we're going to do our puff stitch. Okay, so yarn over, insert, pull up, yarn over, pull through two and stop. That's two. 
three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is the last one. Okay, so in the end, you need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through all seven. And after that, so this is our puff. Into the next stitch and complete your single crochet. Single crochet into the next and single crochet into the next. Now, we reach our stitch marker, take this off, and we're going to create our puff. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven yarn over and then pull through all the loops and single crochet into the next and single crochet until you reach the end of the row Now, this is how it looks like. Okay, so we have one here, two here. So that will go and form our heart. The next row is row nine, which is 29 single crochet. So just make sure that you count your stitches and complete 29 single crochet, okay? This is just a 29 single crochet row and complete that and I will meet you back and we will start the next row which is the puff stitch. Now I have completed my row nine. We are going to work on our row 10. Okay, so row 10, we're going to count 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Into the next is we're going to place our stitch marker. Make sure that you have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you place the stitch marker and then from this end one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we're going to place another stitch marker okay so this side you have ten this side you have ten and in the middle here so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. Okay, so 10 and then puff stitch, seven stitches, puff stitch, and 10 stitches. Okay, so let's work on that. Chain one and turn. So once you reach your stitch marker, 
we'll take this off and we're going to work on that stitch our half stitch one two three four five six so two four six seven yarn over and pull through all <clears throat> the loops and into the next stitch single crochet that's two three four five six and seven now we reach our stitch marker we're going to work our puff stitch one two three four five and six two four six seven pull through and work 10 single crochet to finish the row So this is how this is how it looks like as you can see here so we have one two and two but it's getting bigger okay so the next row is row 11 which is 29 single crochet Just count your stitches and make sure you have 29 double crochet. Ah, uh, sorry. Just make sure you have 29 single crochet when you finish the row. Once you completed your row 11, now we're going to work on our row 12 which is we're going to count eight one two three four five six seven eight and then next one we're going to place our stitch marker and we count from the other side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to place our stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll place marker into the ninth stitch. And in the middle here, if we count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, single crochet okay or stitches 11 stitches so you have eight and then marker and then 11 marker and then eight now we're going to work into that row chain one and single crochet So 
So once you reach your marker, you take this off and we're going to work our bubble stitch or popcorn stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. And yarn over pull through all the loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we reach our stitch marker, you take this off, and we're going to create our puff stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and yarn over, pull through all the loops, and the next single crochet single crochet until you reach the end of the row and chain one turn and this row is 29 single crochet row okay so once you have fi you finish your 29 single crochet now we are going to move on to row 14 and we're going to do six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And to the next, we're going to place our stitch marker. And we're going to count from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in the next, we're going to place our stitch marker. And in the middle here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So six stitch marker, fifteen stitch marker, and six. Now we're going to move to completing our row four, 14 chain one. And once you completed your six single crochet, we're going to take our stitch marker and we're going to work our puff stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six yarn over pull through all the loops into the next single crochet and complete 15 single crochet
once you reach your stitch marker and we're going to place our bubble stitch one two three four five and six yarn will pull through all the loops one two three four five and six chain one so this is how our row complete and this next row is a single crochet row which is 29 single crochet Okay, once you have completed your 29 single crochet, we are going to move to our next row, which is row 16. And we are going to count one, two, three, four, and to the next, so we're going to place our stitch marker so one two three four and to the fifth one we're going to place and from here one two three four we're going to place our stitch marker into the fifth okay and in the middle you're supposed to have 19 single crochet so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Now we are going to complete our four single crochet. And we reach our stitch marker, remove, and we're going to place our puff stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yarn over through all the loops into the next single crochet and complete your 19 single crochet once you completed your 19 single crochet and we reach our stitch marker I'm going to remove it and we're going to place our bubble stitch so two four six seven here now we'll pull through all the loops and we're going to complete our four single crochet to complete the row chain one and this row is 29 single crochet so complete that and I'll come back 
and meet you back. So once you completed your 29 single crochet, now we will be doing the same as we did on row 16. We will be doing the same. So chain one, four single crochet, Okay, so you have one, two, three, four. And then now into this stitch, we're going to complete our half stitch. One, two, and then we're going to complete our 19 single crochet. So as you can see here, you need to turn this way. We have the same, the same length. Okay, so we are going to continue doing this. As you can see in our pattern, we have one, two, three. We are going to continue third, and then on the fourth, we're going to do the middle part. Okay, so this is our shape part there. So continue doing one, two, three, and then on the fourth one, I'll come back and I will I will go through with you okay doing this so continue doing this and you just have to the repeat our row 16 okay two more times okay so this is one two and this is your second so one more you complete the second one and then one more and i'll come back and meet you back Okay, so as when you finish your uh, three rows in this side here, now we are going to work together for our row 22. As I just finished my 21 with a 21, 29 single crochet. Now we're going to start with our row 22. So row 22 is the same as this one, as you can see from here. So we have one, two, three, four. Now we're going to start our middle of the heart. Okay, so this is row 22. Now we will be doing the same thing over here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then into the fifth, one, two, three, four, into the fifth, we're going to place our stitch marker. So one, two, three, four, and the same as the other side. We're going to count from here, one, two, three, four, and into the fifth, we're going to place our stitch marker. And from the stitch marker, no, from, from next to the stitch marker, is we're going to count nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and into the next, we will be placing our stitch marker okay so if we count it it needs to be the 15. so one two three four five 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So this side here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 as well. Okay, so we have 4. And in the 5th, we have a stitch marker. We count 9. And the 10th, we place a stitch marker. We have 9. And stitch marker, and we have 4 on the other side. Okay, so let's begin our row 22. Chain one, turn your work, and four single crochet. And take our stitch marker out. And we're going to place our bubble stitch or pop stitch three four five one two three four five six and we need one more okay for the seven loops and into the next single crochet Now we reach our stitch marker, we take it off and work our puff stitch. And we reach our last stitch marker and work our last puff stitch. Two, four, six, seven. chain one <clears throat> and now this is how our project look like okay and I'm just going to do 29 single crochet all the way and I will come back and we will uh, do our row 24 together okay so now i just finished my 29 single crochet as you can see here this is where we're going to put our uh, bubble stitch okay so you have to count from this side one two three four five six on the seven into the seven you place your stitch marker and then you count one two three four five into the six place your stitch marker one two three and into the fourth stitch marker one two three four five and the six stitch marker and you have one two three four five six okay so six six in both sides and then five three five Okay, so that is the count. And we have 29 single crochet. Okay, so this is very crucial. 
you need to have your stitches correct or else <clears throat> your work it's not going to um, put in place so chain one and we're going to single crochet six times and six <clears throat> sorry and we're going to create our bubble stitch Two, four, six, seven. <clears throat> and that is our five single crochet. Bubble stitch one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we have to have three one, two, and three. And stitch marker and we're going to create our bubble stitch stitch marker <clears throat> and bubble stitch and we need to have six one two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one. And this is our heart. Looks like, okay, we have one more rows to go and we complete our heart puff stitch or bubble stitch okay so complete a 21 29 complete 29 single crochet and I'll come back to the final uh, row of our project okay so this is our final to complete the heart shape so from this side you have to count eight single crochet so one two three four five six seven eight and then you place your stitch marker and one in the middle one single crochet and then stitch marker one two three four five six seven seven single crochet stitch marker into the eighth and then one single crochet and into the next stitch marker and you have to have eight single crochet left one two three four five six seven eight so eight eight in this side eight in this side and then one 
in this side and one in this side and here in the middle is seven in the middle seven double crochet so eight one seven eight one ah uh, sorry sorry eight one seven one eight okay so now we are going to complete chain one and turn your work and single crochet eight times Okay, now once you completed your eight single crochet, take the stitch marker out and work our bubble stitch. Okay, so one, two, three, seven, and single crochet into the next, and we're going to take this second stitch marker, and we're going to work a bubble stitch again. And pull through all the loops and we're going to do seven double crochet so that's one two three four five six and seven now sing, uh, we reach our stitch marker and we're going to create our bubble stitch or your puff stitch. Two, four, six, seven, and single crochet into the next and take our stitch marker and we're going to work our last bubble stitch and now we need to have eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, if we turn this around, as you can see, that completes our heart. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it beautiful? So then as we completed our border here for five rows, we need to complete on the top as well, five rows. So just plain, 29 single crochet two three four five 
five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine. Okay, so this is our first row. And you need to complete four more rows okay so four more rows and just plain single crochet 29 single crochet every row for four rows and then I'll come back and we can finish our project okay guys so as you can see here we are finished with our project and isn't it look lovely Okay, so as you can see that it is in this side here and this side, as you notice, uh, what I did is um, after I finished my uh, 29 single crochet, I continued doing a single crochet into this border and coming here. So as you can see, this side is different from this side. So if you want just like that, you can just leave it. Uh, but if you do uh, have a, a nice border, um, you can do this one as well. But if you're going to attach, um, you can, I think you can just like leave it like that and then you just attach or connect or else you can put single crochet to make, to make it easier for you to connect together. Okay, so thank you very much guys. Hopefully you like this video and if you do, please do smash that like button and share my videos as well so other people can uh, watch. And if you haven't subscribed yet guys, please um, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. So you get notified every time I will post a new video. And thank you very much. Thank you very much for all my supporters, as for all your love and support. Um, I really do appreciate. And that's why I keep going with my tutorial. And I do appreciate people that um, drop by and leave a comment. Thank you very much for your time. Um, I really appreciate. So even if it is a feedback or um you know clump compliment um i really appreciate them all okay so thank you guys and i will see you in the next video bye for now